Right, there we go. Right, we are live. So, um, yeah, just coming at you with a few charity shop pickups from the last few days. Um, I won some auction lots as well today. I just looked online because obviously it was the auction today. Um, yeah, so some of my commission bids actually won. Um, lot 28, lot... I mean, this is not going to mean much to you, but lot 28, lot uh, 131... Uh, lot 231, that's weird, 131 and 231, um, yeah, that's right, lot 131, lot 231, lot 159, lot 160, lot 233, lot 237, lot 239, lot 246, so plenty of lots won, actually. Um, I'll probably do some sort of haul video for that, maybe not show you everything, um, but in the, all those lots there's like vintage toys, there's a uh, few board games, vintage board games in boxes, um, like just in big box lots basically, um, metalware, things like that, all sorts of bits and bobs, and I think, there's, I, think I did win some uh, really nice ceramics actually, some, I think it was a candy land or a candy ware bowl, um, or some, I don't know what, what the make was actually, it was candy something anyway, um, I didn't win the chameleon wear, I don't think, I did bid on some chameleon wear, but unfortunately I didn't win that, anyway, so, on with today's haul, um, I'm happy that I've won stuff at the auction, so that's good, um, and then I'm bidding live online, um, tomorrow at the, at the other auction, so that'll be cool. Um, I'm not going to get loads from that one though, I don't think, because I've got car boots at the weekend, and um, basically someone who I'm in contact with um, have su has suggested we could maybe do a deal as well, so it's like, oh my god, loads of stock coming from everywhere, so yeah, um, I probably won't get loads from that other auction, sorry, I'm just taking my shoes off. 17 people watching, wow. Um, Right, let's go through the chat. Tom J, hey, Jeff, hi, Peter, hi, Neil, hi, Southwest Sellers, hi, Carp Fishing, hi. So, right, great, let's get on with it anyway. Um, so, oh, other thing to mention, I am on the waiting list for a cabinet now, which is awesome. They said it'll be like um, probably a month or two months. Um, but the, there's people, you know, that are pulling out and, and, or people going in all the time. So there's people coming out of it and then people going in all the time. But, um, basically I'm on the list, so I don't know what that actually means. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm hoping it's about a month or two because she said that could be like, um, the, the sort of time frame I'd be looking at. So, um, yeah, really happy with that. I just need our cabinet's expensive. It's one pound a day. It's thirty pound a month, so one pound a day. Um, the only reason I'm doing the cabinet route is because I'm doing this project. If I wasn't doing this project, I probably wouldn't get a cabinet. I might do, but I'd probably just bung it on eBay and see how it fares on eBay. But the only reason I'm getting a cabinet is because I'm going down a certain route, so, you know, you don't have to get a cabinet, eBay is perfectly fine, but that's the route I, I'm sort of taking, so, um, so that's the only reason I've got the cabinet, but anyway, on with the haul, so, found this little piece, this is nice, I like this, um, oh no, oh no, look at that, that's why it's two quid, I was thinking, like, this is a piece of fat lava, it's West German ceramics, and you know I love picking this stuff up, I always pick it up, um, and it was two quid, and I was thinking, oh, that's cheap for two quid, and I just literally, I didn't look at it, I just thought, oh, that's cheap for, for uh, two quid, I'll have it. Didn't look at it, that's why it's blooming two pound, because of that nasty chip on the side of it, um, but I'll just have that. Oh dear, that is not good. No, I know it isn't. It isn't. Um, but that's... They get you, don't they? Two quid. It's like, oh yeah, that's great. I mean, the thing is, I got all excited thinking, yeah, it's two quid. And I'll have it. And then and then I just... I, I don't do my usual checks of looking it over. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. So I, I probably would have got like 12 to 15 quid, something like that, back for that piece. Maybe even a little bit more, because it's quite nice, actually, this one. 
it is quite nice. I might shoot shoot for a little bit more on that one if it didn't have a cracking, but I'll just keep it. I'll put it on my um, windowsill and obviously just put that two pound down, uh, you know, out of the business. So take it out of the business, but yeah. Anyway, that's that. So bit annoying, but ah oh well. Um, next was something that I got for a present. So and it's this really nice. Don't know where you can see that peacock. Um, now this is actually making me a little bit suspicious now because this was on here at £5 and I did look over this one. This was on here at £5 and I thought, oh, that's that's a bit cheap for, you know, a nice bowl like that. Usually at this, at this charity shop, they're like 8 quid, 10 quid for something like that. Um, but I did look this one over and I couldn't find anything. Looking at it now, I can't find anything. Ooh, there's something little there. There's something little. Now, this isn't to sell, so it's not major if there's like a little crack or anything. But I think there is some very, very minute little crack there. Or maybe not a crack, but something's happened maybe in the process of making it. I don't know. But anyway, £5. It's my grandma's birthday soon, and she collects carnival glass. I don't think she has this peacock one. The one I really like with carnival glass is this pretty much a similar design to this but it's actually like bluey purple colour um, and that's quite valuable that one I don't if I was to resell this I don't know on price I mean something like that's got to be worth I, I, well I don't know carnival glass was really good like a few years ago, years ago especially like in the actual auction market I don't know on eBay um, but it has gone down in value now maybe no one likes it as much I don't know um, Peacock design, but I reckon about 15 to 20 quid for something like that. I, that's my guess, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's have a look. But anyway, as I say, my grandma will really appreciate that, and I thought for a fiver, it's better than getting it off eBay for however much it's going for. Ooh, now that's not. There's one very, very similar there, gone for 30 quid, but I think it's something different. It is a little bit on, more ornate than mine, but. Ruffled edge, 9 inch, has no quick cracks or chips. I don't know. I don't know, but I think personally, if I was putting that on eBay, I wouldn't want less than 15 to 20. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that one. You can do your own research, see how much it's going for, but. Yeah, nice anyway, my grandma will, will appreciate that. Um, next, um, two pairs of vintage glasses. I don't know their age. Um, but they're not mega old, but I don't think they're, you know, I don't think, I think we've got some age to them. And the bifocals as well, they've got this little, like, sort of, don't know, like, half crescent almost. So it's like a bifocal thing there. Um, but yeah, they're quite cool, quite funky. Um, and I paid 99p each for these, so I wasn't going to say no at 99p each. I don't think there's any mega value in them, but I could maybe see like someone selling, uh, someone using them like a prop house or something like that. I don't know. I'm just sort of having a think, really. I'm, I'm assuming a prop house or something, I'll, I'll use them. This actually has a name on, which is Curry and Paxton. Um, and they look quite nice, actually, those ones. They look a bit... I don't know, they just feel like a bit more professional than the other ones, but, yeah. Um, I don't know what this design is called, but it's like sort of reminiscent of tortoise shell, isn't it? Or turtle shell or whatever it is. Tortoise shell, that's right, isn't it? Um, but it's sort of reminiscent of that. Um, so, yeah. You should b have been wearing the glasses when you looked at that jug. I know, I know. Terrible, terrible. Um, next, for 4 99 this was quite good. I know I don't buy board games often anymore because I'm really, really trying to to um, hold back with that. But this one was good. It's a uh, Star Wars Risk um, original trilogy, trilogy edition, but it's got sealed contents inside. I'll actually show you. Um, like, manual is stunning. Like, really, really nice condition. Um, and... All the things have been, you know, they've not been punched out or anything. 
and then if I can just get like the cards out of there, all factory sealed, everything in its original bags. Um, yeah, I've stuck that on for 40 quid. I did see someone else get 40 quid for one of these with new and sealed contents. Yeah, it wasn't sealed, it was just like new and sealed contents. So hopefully, yeah, I'll get 40 quid on that and I paid a fiver. So it was definitely worth picking up and I'm trying to stop buying the lower end board games that really don't shift and start buying the better board games that are more collectible and things like that. So I'll only really pick up board games in that case. Um, so yeah, that was quite nice. Now Oxfam are closing down near me, I'm sure I've told you about three times. Um, and I went in yesterday and they had um, everything 50p now, so it was previously about a week ago it was everything 50% off but now they're like right we're, we've only got a week to go let's let's just clear everything out 50p every item 50p and these were originally stickered up at 9.99 each and they're now they're now 50p and with these jolt jolt toys i can never pronounce that it's g g a l t toys and with these little puzzles you know they're great for kids um Vintage, obviously, I don't really know the age, maybe 60s, 70s, something like that. I, I really don't know, um, but I imagine something like that. Um, and you got this little yellow one here. They're kind of a little bit, um, what's the word, like a little bit loose, a couple of these, in the positioning. Like for, like, like, for some reason, it's been cut out a bit too wide for the actual puzzle pieces, but I don't know, maybe that's just over time wear or something i don't know but you, can you see there it's just a bit bit loose um i feel like if i were to tip it anymore it would actually come out um but yeah for 50p each I, I was gonna say i wasn't gonna say no to them um i think i could probably get maybe like 10 to 20 the pair i really don't know i'm not too sure um but for a vintage puzzle like that someone's gonna pay 10 pound for for a vintage puzzle like that i'm sure of it so yeah i have to do a bit more research on those but they're quite nice um again 50p sale um jolt with a jolt with a hard g like garden galt no galt 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 is that right galt um Anyway, this one is New and Sealed Ravensburger Puzzle, Close Encounter, 1000 Piece Jigsaw Puzzle. New and Sealed, it was stickered up at 9.99, um, not 9.99, 6.99, sorry, in, in Oxfam. I've seen it numerous times in there, it's been in there for about two months. Um, and I've just left it every time, no, it's not worth it. And for 50p, I was like, yeah, I'll grab it now. Um, so it's like the tortoise and the, what is it, tortoise and the hare. I'm just there waiting, I'm happy, you know, just to just keep waiting. And then look look what uh, comes to me, I've actually got it. So yeah, it's like the tortoise and the hare kind of thing. I'm just happy to wait and then I end up getting it in the end anyway. So yeah, 50p for that. I'm not going to send it into Amazon, I don't think, I think it, it might have come up, but it was like a terrible rank if it did come up. Um, I'm probably going to shove it on eBay, 12, 15 quid, something like that. Um, and yeah, so that's that one. I think think it was going, I think I did have a quick look. I think there was one pre-owned that had gone, for, you know, like literally opened, um, that had gone for about 6 99 plus postage. So yeah, I should be able to get 12, 15 quid for that. So that's not too bad. But I was never going to pick it up at 6 99 That's just crazy. Um... This wasn't in the 50p sale, but it was in another charity shop for a pound. Really, really nice, this one. I picked it up. I picked it up about six months into my reselling journey. And it was actually up there. Oh, no, up there, sorry. Um, and on my um, channel art, on this channel, it, you can actually see it in the corner there. And I sold it for 15 quid last time, which nowadays would be vastly underselling this. Um, yeah, this is the Great Balloon Weights, definitely one to look out for by Parker. I've, as I say, I've wanted to find it again for a while. Um, and now I'm sort of, well, I mean, there's, there's ones listed for sort of anywhere from about 30 to about 45, 50. But it's not actually sold for, for that. Now, as I say, I sold mine for uh, 15 quid ages ago. Whether I shoot high like the other guys are and just wait it out and hope someone buys it for that, 
or whether I just sort of undercut people slightly and be the cheapest and get it gone. I don't know. I don't know whether 30 to sort of 45 is realistic, but I think it's worth shooting for it along with some of the other guys. So I'm probably going to list that about 30 quid um, and see where I go. I probably won't go 45. I think 45 might be pushing it a bit, but certainly I could get double what I got last time, I think. You know, a bit, given a bit of time, I think I can get double, so... Yeah, happy with that, really happy to find it. And I think that's going to be one that might just go up in value a little bit more over time. I don't know, but it, it might do. Whether there's the demand for it, though, is another another question, because it didn't seem like it was selling that often. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Uh, I've done those. Um, again, 50p sale in Oxfam. That was the original price tag. Uh, 3 99 I mean... There's probably a tiny profit in it at three ninety nine four quid, but I wasn't going to pay that. But obviously, it was in the fifty percent sale. It does have a mark on it, and I don't mean like a chip or a crack. I mean a, a like a potter's mark. There, don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not good with this sort of stuff. I don't know what that mark. Uh, you know, whose that mark is or anything like that. Um, but it's like in the shape of an anchor, sort of. Yeah, it's like in the shape of an anchor. Um, but, I mean, studio pottery, something like that, I'm easily going to get 12, 15 quid for that. So, well, not easily. It's going to sit for a while. But, you know, I'll get 12 to 15 quid for that. So, yeah, I'll whack that on. Um, I do like listing studio pottery. I think it's... I, I mean, I just like it. I don't know. I mean, it's not necessarily easy to list. But it's not, like, mega hard as long as you get your keywords right and you sort of have a few keywords in mind and when you're listing it you describe it fairly well but I do get quite a lot of enjoyment out of listing this sort of stuff but you do kind of have to put a bit more in your description just to um, cover yourself a little bit and just to make sure you've described it properly but yeah quite like that I thought 50p I'm having it there's profit in that um what next oh you know what I've not shown you you know what I've not shown you? You know I said I was going to get a sonic screwdriver? You know, yeah, you know I said I was going to get a sonic screwdriver? I got one. Look at that. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait, I've not signed into it. One second. There you go. There we go. Alright, one sec. One sec. There you go. Yeah, look at that. It's all done in metal. It's by the Wand Company. You know, the, the company that does, like, the Harry Potter Universal Remote, like, for your TV. This does the same thing on your TV. Really, really nice. And as you can tell as well, you can put that down and then flick it open. Like that. Oh, it's not. Oh, there you go. Like that. And... Um, also, what was going to say? One sec. And if you do, it does all the other Doctor's sound effects for the sonic screwdriver. Like that. And then, tap there, tap there, tap there, tap there. And then it does do John Pertwee's, but I forgot how you do that. I don't know. I don't know, but John Pertwiz is in there, because that's the one I like the most. Um, I got it from a site called, I think it was findmeagift.com, and it's 20 quid off. Now, you're going to feel crazy. I did spend 60 quid on this, but I really like it. I really do like it, and I don't spend a lot of money on myself. Like, a lot of the wages I take out of the business go into shares or go into other things, um, or, like, savings and stuff like that, so... I like a little bit of a treat once in a while, and that is cool, and that is really cool, so I'm happy with that. Um, but anyway, that's that, that's that, I'm not going to divulge too much more into that. Um, you've come for a whole video, and that's what you will get. Um, again, this was 99p in the Oxfam, but it was half price, so 50p. And it's weird, my mum picked it up, and she said, is that something, could, could that be something? Um, and she said, it's like a little stamp thing or something. Um, I really don't know whether she's right on that. I don't know whether it is, like, some ink for a stamp or something. There's no ink or anything in there. Um, 
I don't know, I really don't know, but it's Royal Appointment to the Queen. No, it's... Oh, here it is. It says, by appointment toilet soap makers to the late King George VI. So that would have been... Am I right in saying 1936 to 1952? So that means that that, that dates this piece. God knows how much, much it's worth, but for 50p, I was all over that. Anyway, I said to my mum, yeah, that could be something. And I thought, bung it in for 50p. So, yeah, anyway, I got that for 50p. Don't know how much it's worth, but I think there's some money in it. I do, I, I do think there's some money in it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, well, I've done that. I've done my little fail. Uh, why? Okay, a little, little bit of clothing now. Not too much clothing, but a little bit. Timberland shirt. Probably going to get about 20 quid back for that. Uh, it, what is it? Large. It's a large. I paid a fiver for it. I probably wouldn't want to pay much more than that, or any more than that, really. Um, needs an iron. This one does, but I'll iron it. That's not, that's not too much trouble. Um, I do try and get clothing... That you know, like pick clothing up that don't that doesn't need an iron, but sometimes like it gets so ruffled in your bag or something like that that it need it tends to need an iron anyway. Um, but then again, there was a debate. I think um, I don't know whether it was on UK reselling, but um, people have been talking recently about whether that yeah it was on UK reselling um, about like whether you iron clothing just for it to get like messed up in the you know in the postage process because when it arrives to people it's gonna get all crumpled up anyway so it's like what do you bloody do but anyway um i will give that an iron and set it up nicely for photographs but as i say timberland shirt there nice men's one uh, nothing spectacular or anything but still nice little item there um 50p sale in oxfam as i say everything in the shop was 50p and that was the original tag, it was £3.99. Um, I did look at this previously a couple of times actually when I've been in there. Teddy Smith. Um, I really don't know what this is worth. I don't know whether Teddy Smith is a good make or not. Um, but it doesn't feel like terrible quality. It feels okay. Um, not that I really know my quality with clothing. But I can. I'm starting to tell like the real bad quality from okay quality and this doesn't feel like really really bad um, but it doesn't feel like really really good either um, but there, should, there, there could be some money in that and for 50p I couldn't leave it behind if there was you know a few quid in it so that's that one anyway and then there is another shirt that I got yesterday um, and this is quite nice this one actually um, this is a and I think I've done okay with this one actually this is a crew clothing yeah crew clothing tailored fit now this does feel quality it feels it, it feels sturdy it feel, i know that's not the right word for for an article of clothing but it does it feels like tough and sturdy and strong even uh you know thick and nice you know really nice material um and i have seen one of the not this exact design but another striped crew clothing shirt um crew clothing yeah that's right isn't it um go for like 27.99 and it was like a pink one with i don't know whether it was black stripes or blue stripes or something and this is a blue one with pink stripes but i saw one go for 27.99 so i'm gonna aim a bit higher on this one and then maybe work down a little bit and uh see what see whether it goes for for that sort of price um 3.50 paid so I was, you know I was happy to take a punt at £3.50 and I thought yeah I'm, I think I'm on to an okay okay item with this one so yeah that's that one anyway and this is actually quite nice I don't think I, I think I could probably get away with not ironing this one as long as I don't fiddle with it too much more um, but yeah that's quite nice anyway I'm going to just rest that down there quite nicely like so um, what else did I get so, as you can tell, not bad in the charity shops. I did get a couple of items. Uh, I, I got most of this yesterday, but there was a couple of items I got today as well. But it was majority sort of yesterday. Um, yeah, Playmobil 4013, so 4013. And it said Super Set up here. I don't know what that means. I paid two quid for it. Don't know whether you can see that. Two quid. Um, 
I really haven't a clue what this is worth. I just knew it was worth more than two quid. Um, I'm imagining it's not mega valuable or anything like that. It's only a fairly small set, but it's got its box, which is good. I didn't check inside. Well, I had a brief look. It seems like most things are in there, to be honest. There might be one or two animals missing, but, you know, like, the big bulky stuff is there. There's, you know, big bulky stuff. It does need a little bit of a wipe. There is some marks and stuff around. The people are in there. So, I thought, yeah, I'll take a chance on that for two quid. Oh, no. But the uh, thing is, with this one, I only had a £20 note, actually. And I thought this was uh, a little bit of a story. Anyway, I only had a £20 note. And she was really kind, the lady, because she didn't have... I don't think she had any change, like, on that scale. Um, and... I said to her, well, I'll check if I've got the change. I've got the £2 change. And I had £1.81, and she let me off, and that was really nice. Um, so I was really happy with that. You know, I was really happy that I could actually get it, because um, I didn't have change, my mum didn't have change, the lady didn't have change for a 20, so it was like, oh, my God. You know, what are you going to do? But she she gave it to me for £1.81, so that was really nice. So I was, I was happy with that. So I didn't actually pay £2, I paid £1.81. Um... Oh yeah, actually I put two pound into my account, so I better change that to. I know it. I know it's only nineteen p, but I like my accounts to be completely square. Um, I don't like to do any of this nonsense. I like everything to be on the dot, on the pence. I know the tax man probably isn't going to be worried about like ten pence or whatever if you've missed it, you know. But I, I just like everything to be completely square. So better change my accounts on that one before I forget. Um, Next was TDK 240, 4 hours, and this was 99p, um, for daily use, you know, just the single VHS tape thing, um, yeah, no, nothing, you know, nothing major, probably send them into Amazon, but I've got some up there at the moment, and they're not really selling as well as I thought, anyone had it having audio problems, or is it just me? Oh, no, it's not, the audio has not gone, has it? It can cost an absolute fortune. Fortunately, mine is amicable. Hang on, what's been going on? I've not even looked in the chat here. Let's have a look. It looks really cool. Fair play to treat yourself working hard. Uh, my son's... That was about the Sonic Screwdriver. My son's left him because she wasn't happy. I'm not going to read that out. That's just random chat. Um... St. Luke's have the best quality clothes. Yeah, I found that, you know, we do, but sometimes the pricing's a little bit too high, so and I can't make a profit, but, you know, if they can get that price, then, then that's fine. But I, I sometimes uh, pick a few items up from there. Um, sounds fine? No? Every, right, it's okay, everyone's saying it's alright. Whoa, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, there we go. Sorry. Um, I sent... Those two, Amazon a couple of months ago, TDK VHS 5 went to Italy. Yeah, I don't know, I've sent a few of these in, these like, oh god, that went a bit laggy. Um, you know, just the single packs, I've got two of them, 99p each. But, yeah, they've just not sold yet, and, and like, it's probably been about a week or a week and a half since I sent them in, so... Uh, yeah, good afternoon, Lonnie. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon here. Um, but good morning to you anyway, Lonnie. Um, oh, I won't block you this time, I promise. Um, yeah, but they're just not selling, so I don't know. I mean, I think I need to give it a bit more time. I'm not going to be one of those people who's just going to reduce the price straight away, you know, and race to the bottom. Um, so I'll give it a bit more time, and hopefully maybe one or two of them will shift. But um, I think they have got a pretty good rank, so... It's just a bit odd why they're not shifting. I sent I sent VHS into, and been up there for a month. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, uh, I, maybe I'm just getting worried for no reason. But that's that. Um, right. So fifty p Oxfam sale again. These will be for my cabinet, but I probably won't put them in there till Christmas. Because I don't, like, it's all good listing Christmas stuff on eBay all year, that's fine. And I'll do that, like, I'll list Christmas stuff all year. Because it has the chance to sell all year. But, when you've got a very small cabinet, and you want things in your cabinet to sell, um, putting Christmas-themed items in there in summer is probably not the best use of space. So, 
yeah, these will literally wait in the other room and then they'll go in my cabinet in, at Christmas. Um, and the, these are like, really standard items. They made the, they made loads of these, but because they were 50p in the Oxfam sale, um, I thought, and the box as well, I thought I'll have these. Probably not going to get a lot back in my cabinet. Probably, well, yeah, below a tenner. Um, I mean, yeah, below a tenner, I would think, on these. But they're just a, the Wedgwood Christmas 1981 and Christmas 1982 plates again. You know, very, very standard stuff, but I was happy to take them for 50p each. Um, what cabinet? I missed the start. Oh, you've not watched yesterday's video or the day before video. I'm getting... Part of my mystery project I reveal to you guys is I'm getting an antique cabinet at a local... Um, like a local antique centre, um, and I, I'm on the waiting list. I, I did well, yeah, I did talk about it in the start of this video, but I'm on the waiting list, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I really am. I'll be really, really happy to have that little income coming in as well. And it's just that is just like a start for something bigger um, in the like the mystery cabinet, uh, the the mystery cabinet, the mystery project. Like if it, it's like the start to the mystery project. Um, I thought I was up to date. Oh, you missed that. Um, yeah, Sarah Blake. Me. Oh, I didn't know you were in the chat, Sarah. Um, what is your cabinet? Not with it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, Blake. Me. Um, I did think about no, uh, Northwich Auction. Uh, not Northwich Auction. Uh, because it used to be called Northwich Auctions, but. Um, Northwich Ant Antique Centre it's called now, but I don't know, it's a little bit more expensive, I don't know whether they're going to get the same foot for them, I'm not sure, because Blakemere has got other attractions, you see, so it brings a few more people there, um, I just don't know, I might end up getting one at Northwich and one at Blakemere, but the plan probably is, is to get, uh, is to scale up my cabinet, so I've got a few cabinets, and then maybe move into a booth, but I'm not, I'm not sure, I might just go from having one cabinet straight into a booth, or I might build up having a few cabinets, and then I'll reassess and then think, right, is it time for me to go into a booth, I, you know, it, it just depends how things go, but anyway, that's that, um, what else, oh, there's only a few games now, right, there's only a few games, I'll have to apologise, because I don't know, um, I don't know the values of some of these, but I just sort of picked them up and um, I was sort of hoping they were valuable going off some of the video game knowledge I've got. Um, driver, uh, these were, I don't know why it says 4 99 on the back of there. Does it say that on all of them? No. Anyway, that was not, oh I know why, because I had something in the other room. That was not 4 99 anyway. I would not pay 4 99 for that. It were, they were all 1 99 each. Um, and I was... Like, um and are in whether I should take take a punt on a couple, and that's what I did. Um, well, I took a punt on more than a couple actually, but I thought, I'll, you know, I'll have a I'll have a look at these, see, see whether my video gaming knowledge is up to scratch if I take a punt. So, driver parallel lines. These are all in. I wouldn't say really good condition, but the GameCube ones were a little like they've got light scratching on them. They'll probably yeah, they'll be will play, but. I just, they're, they're not, I don't think the GameCube ones are really Amazon worthy. Um, I was hoping that one of them would be, but I don't think it actually is. Um, but the Xbox games are, are, are not bad condition at all, really. Um, Xbox driver parallel parallel lines. Um, no FBA offers. Merchant Fulfilled is at like £3 something. I'll probably shoot for like... I want to say 10, but I might not get 10, so I don't know. But I'd say I took a bit of a punt on that one. I'm hoping that I'll get 10 and there'll be a bit of profit in that. Um, this one looked like it could be good. Um, Tay2, T, 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 or don't know how you pronounce that. T A I T O, Legends. Um, I think it had a bit of a high rank on Amazon. I can't remember what it was going for now. I think it was like 10 to 15, but that was like merchant fulfilled. Um, but I'll have to double. Actually, you know what? I can go. Save me stumbling around and not actually giving you a correct price. Let's just go on Amazon. Um, but on eBay, it goes for like 8 to 10. I really ideally want to send it into Amazon, but 
the rank is just slightly above what I want to send it in at. Um, Toto Legends. Anyway, there's a nice game in here that I got. Um, and that I've wanted to find for ages, but I've not actually found it. Well, I have found it, like, um, on Gumtree and on eBay and stuff, but I've just not gone through with actually buying the job lots. Um, yeah, it's saying nine... Yeah, no FBA offers. I was about, like, from sort of £10 to all the way up to 15 But God, my memory's good. Yeah, £10 up to £15, merchant fulfilled. So I'll probably get 20 25 something like that for on Amazon. But I'll have to check on the app after after um, I've done the live stream because I, I like to check properly on the app sometimes. The uh, desktop version, I just, I just don't like it. I like checking on the app. Um... But yeah, so one ninety nine for that. I'll I'll make profit on it on eBay, even if I have to sell it for like you know eight to ten on eBay. But I ideally like to send that into Amazon. I got Wayman um, free Hoodlum have have it again for two quid. I think it goes for about twelve on Amazon, so not the the best like sort of margin, but it's still it's still some profit in it there for me. Um, yeah, pretty standard. Disc has got like let's double check. I think it's got like light scratching. Yeah, it, I don't know about sending it into Amazon. It's like, mm, you know, it's like on that border. Um, I might end up selling it on eBay with something else maybe in here. I'm not sure. Um, but that's that one anyway. Um, if I send it into Amazon, it's going to be about 12 quid. If I decide to start on eBay, it's going to be a bit less. But I think I might have maybe another Rayman game, but I don't want to bundle it with a like a game from a different platform so i might wait till i get another rayman game on gamecube but i don't know i don't know did we do have any other Rain rayman games on gamecube i don't even know um but that's that one anyway um gamecube this one's quite good i think let's check I did do all this research yesterday when it, like after i picked them up but i've forgotten by now because i scanned through so much bloody stuff Sonic Adventure Battle 2 GameCube. What are we on? 37 minutes. I'll have to go in a minute. Um, oh, yeah, this one was okay. And I think I will send, it, send this into Amazon. Yeah, that, that's a bit better, that one, actually, um, in terms of scratching. It's got light scratching, but it's not like, not like terrible, terrible. So. It's worth. It's probably worth sending into Amazon as except maybe twelve to fifteen on that. So maybe fifteen if I'm lucky. It's got its manual as well. We all these have all got the manuals actually. There. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Um. Oh no, is it lagging? Um. But that's that one. This was the one I was disappointed about. It, is it actually lagging? Do you ever use CD cleaner before you send games off? I just generally like buff them, or not buff them, but like just like do it on my leg, you know, here, or just do it with a little cloth. I don't, you know, if if they've got bad scratching on, I won't send them into Amazon anyway. I'll just end up either job lotting them on eBay and then stating that in the description that. You know, do a big job lot and then just say, these discs have heavy scratching, they're being sold as untested, um, and uh, manuals may or may not be present, all that sort of stuff, and just do a big job lot and auction it off. Um, or what I'll do is, you know, if they're not, ex you know, if they're not, like, acceptable for Amazon, but I can still sell them on eBay and maybe I test them and they work and all that sort of stuff. Or maybe Maybe I've tested them, but I've decided not to send them into Amazon upon review. Then I sell them on eBay, but I think you know I think it's worth selling individually because I've tested them and they do work. But um, but they've got quite a few scratches, so I'm not going to send them into Amazon. So it really depends. Um, but I don't generally use CD cleaner, but I do give them a little bit of a clean up. Um, but if they've got bad scratching. I will just generally leave them and, and they can go on eBay. As long as they're working, they can go on individually. If they're not work well, no, not if they're not working, but if they're untested, 
um, and we've got bad scratching, we just go in a big job lot and get auctioned off really. Um, and then two that, I don't know, I, did, I wasn't sure on these two. Let's double check on, um, I don't think that one's actually any good, I thought it was, but I don't think it is. Um, Sonic Heroes, but these are in better condition than the GameCube. I was just a bit like, mm, you know, on the GameCube, uh, the condition of the GameCube ones, but the problem with it is um, lagging badly. Oh, God. Let's see. Yeah, it keeps lagging bad. Damn, how can I sort that? Hang on. Should I maybe close some of these tabs here? Is that a bit better? I'll close some of my tabs. I don't know whether that's going to do anything, but I've got quite a few tabs open on my laptop. Um, playing up, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I can do. Um, it's not even saying I've got poor connection. This is a weird thing. Like it said last time I had poor connection, and it wasn't even playing up as badly, but now it's playing up. Um, anyway, I'll quickly go through these. If you get, if you catch the tail end of this, hopefully, um, stop downloading the you know what. No, I'm not doing any of that. Um, so anyway, those two might be a bit of a fail, but we're in better condition. I'm hope for, hopefully that one can be sent into Amazon FBA for some money. I don't know. Um, Doc, do doodle do, I'm okay. Going on internet uses too much when you're on Wi-Fi for webcam. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But that's those two. Um, too much sun. Hey, let's see this. Let's try this. Let's see if that sorts it. If that sorts it, I'd be amazed. Um, and then finally was this one. So I couldn't... Although the GameCube weren't in the best of condition... I find it found it really tough to leave them because I don't see GameCube games in charity shops anymore. Now this one isn't in the best in condition. I won't be sending it to Amazon. It will most probably work. There's a chance it might not work, but I couldn't leave it because it's that game. And I thought even for the two quid, I could probably sell the box of manual and get my money back. So I couldn't leave that one. Um, on Amazon, it's like 36, 37 quid, but I won't be sending it in and I won't achieve that because it's not the condition inside that would, would sort of uh, let me achieve that value. Uh, so I will be selling it on eBay. Hey, wait, is it back to normal now? Super Mario Sunshine is a great game. Um, yeah, so I couldn't leave that. It's the player's choice one. Did we do this one? Yeah, we will have done this one in, uh, you know, just via black label. Um, see exit. Now, do, um, yeah, but do we look at, like, condition of the disc? Because this isn't in as good condition, really. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like medium level of scratching. There's a fair bit of scratching on it. Um, it'll probably play... Add to your business plan better internet. I know, I know. Funnily enough, that is actually part of the business plan, which is weird. Well, not part of a business plan, but it's part of the plan, which is kind of weird. Um, CEX. Right, so the CEX, will they take it even if it's in really bad condition? Because, well, no, it's not in really, really bad condition. It'll work, but it's not in the best of condition, so... I don't know. I might see exit. I'll have to check. I've not got a CEX near me. Um, do you do enough volume to justify buying a resurf... Surf... Resurfacer? Um, probably. I'd sell quite a lot of video games. Um, probably. I don't know how much are they. Um, I took, took stuff to CEX every... Why day? Oh, why day? I thought you meant yesterday. The guy hardly looked at disc condition. Oh, right, well, maybe it's worth sending it to CEX then. Yeah, maybe it's worth that. But I couldn't leave it behind anyway. Um, I probably made a bit of a fail with a couple of the others, but, yeah. Anyway, I'll make my money back on the, on the Mario, to be honest, and then 
whatever else I get back, I get back basically. Um, even if I have to sell some of them on eBay for a bit lower, then that's okay. Um, I bought one for like 150 USD. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm moving away from video games a little bit more. Um, not necessarily completely, but I am moving away from them a little bit more to focus more on, unfortunately, slower sellers. Like antiques, collectibles, things like that. Um, and if anything, the way my business is going over the next year or so, I'm going to be doing less video games. So if my video, like if I was continuing it the way I'm doing them, I would probably buy one. But I just don't know. I don't know at the moment. And yes, it probably would be worth it. Um, CEX, £10 cash for Super Mario Sunshine. Well, I'll pay for a bit of the lot. Anyway, I spent, how much did I spend there on them? 14 quid on them, so it'll pay for a bit of the lot. Um, sorry, meant ads. Ads, you still... <laughs> ads, you still into women's clothes? Um, no, not really. I'm not doing much women's clothes. I've decided that I'll probably just stick to men's clothes um, and just do a few bits and bobs. You know, I'm not going to do loads, but... Um, yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys, because I've got to go. Um, and sort some of this stuff out, get some stuff listed actually today, I need to get some stuff listed. Um, then I'll pick up my auction stuff on Thursday, so that'll be cool. Just list it cheaply on eBay as not in the best of condition but works. Then get rid and move on. Value your time, can't always get top dollar pal. Yeah, I know. Um, I'll probably do that then. Um, yeah, probably just do that. The ones that are in decent condition, like the Xbox games are in better condition than GameCube, but I cut, kind of just, as I said, I kind of just picked up the GameCube because you don't see them in charity shops and you just can't leave them behind when you do, it's so hard. Um, but the Xbox ones I'll probably send into Amazon, the GameCube, as I say, I'll just have to get back what I get back on them, but I just couldn't leave them behind and I'm sure there's some money in them. Um, but just not the best of profit. So, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, I'm sorry about the lag, and, yeah, I will see you in the next one. God, what time are we now? Oh, we're only quarter past. I was expecting it to be, like, three o'clock. That's really weird. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and I will most probably be coming at you with an auction haul of some sort, um, in the next few days. So, I might not do the entire auction haul, but certainly a little bit of it. So, see you soon, guys.